Hello everyone, thank you for joining us this evening. My name is John McCartan, KISS Specialist Consultant uh, for the North and West Regions. On behalf of uh, Tony Aitken, uh, the KISS Specialist Consultant for the North Eastern Region, um, I would like to welcome you all to our second webinar. To begin with, um, we acknowledge the traditional owners of country throughout Australia and recognise their continuing connection to land, waters and culture. We pay our respects to their elders past, present and emerging. Before we start with the session itself, uh, just a, a little bit of background about uh, KISS program in 2021, in particular the specialist consultancy. Uh, many services have already applied for KISS funding for 2021 um, and or attended some KISS 2021 Uniting Information Center sessions. Uh, which have been presented by regional early learning coordinators. Uh, these have provided funding information relating to the kindergarten inclusion support guidelines for submitting and writing an application. A link to these presentations will be forwarded uh, later this week following tonight's session. We would ask you to please note that once your application is approved, KISS Specialist Consultancy is automatically approved and available for your service in 2021, uh, should you choose to access it. Uh, Tani and I can provide some further information uh, on this or any, and or any support with applications for 2021. Um, our contact details are obviously in the emails that went out um, and also at the end of this presentation. Uh, just a quick overview of the session. Welcome, obviously we've done the structure I will talk about uh, shortly, but we will follow um, essentially the same structure as we did in our first webinar. Um, there is a live webinar Q&A. So if you go to the top right hand corner of your screen, uh, you'll see a little tab that you can click on. Um, if you'd like to post any questions throughout the session, uh, Tani and I will follow up on these at the end of the session. Uh, answer those questions and send them out to you, uh, together with a link to this presentation uh, and the KISS information uh, sessions which are on YouTube. Tonight's session, like the first one, should go for around 30 to 40 minutes. Um, and as I said, we will follow up with resources post the session. To begin with, um, similar format to our previous session. So like our first webinar, we cannot and do not expect to cover everything involved in transition. In the time we have available, we trust that you will gain one or two ideas that you can immediately apply in relation to managing transitions with children. And the resources we send post the presentation will hopefully further develop you uh, and your important uh, work with children and families in this area. Um, specific detail on facilitating the transition of children, especially those with additional needs from kindergarten to primary school will be covered. Um, and Tani in the second half of the session will present some quite detailed and practical strategies to support children with additional needs through the specific transitions that they need to learn to manage. So the context, according to Sue Larkey, an educational specialist on working with children with autism spectrum disorders, transition is about managing change. When we manage change effectively, we manage anxiety. So managing change allows us to manage anxiety and helps us to work more effectively with children through that change process. Um, as a personal example, um, not knowing the technical or practical detail of producing a webinar, obviously planning, preparation, practice, and a positive relationship with a co-producer are all critical. At the same time, there can be some trepidation and there certainly was for me. On Teams, as we start, a pop-up informs us that once you go live, you cannot stop. It reminds us that our work with children and families is always live and dynamic and that change is inevitable. And the more we can manage that change, the less anxiety we'll have with children, families and within our program generally. A bit more of a context. What we'd like you first to do is to consider transition from your own perspective. These can be big picture transitions and transitions specific to you. Um, so they could, for example, include from no social restrictions to lockdown one. My full kindergarten group to low group numbers, now back to full kindergarten groups. 
from being able to visit your own family to not being able to visit your own family, from catching up with friends to not catching up with friends, from going from face-to-face -face meetings to online meetings, from unlimited out-of-home access to one hour out-of-home per day, then to two hours out-of-home per day, and then hopefully as things stay as they are, um, unlimited ability to go outside each day, or from no mask to compulsory mask. So what we'd like you to do to begin with is literally just take about 20 seconds to 30 seconds and write down one transition that has had a significant impact on you, particularly over the course of this year. So to begin with, just take the 20 to 30 seconds to do that. Okay, now what we would like you to do is just ask yourself these few questions. So firstly, how did you feel about this change? What emotional impact did it have on you? Secondly, how well did you manage the change? Was it a smooth transition or a smooth change or were there difficulties involved? And third, what support did you need during this change? Was this support readily available? for you? What was the strength of the relationships you had with other people which enabled you to work through, through these difficult or transitions which had a significant impact on you? Having done that, we'd just like you now to place the child at the centre of your thinking and consider the impact of change in their daily lives and the types of support that you can provide. Consider quite particularly the quality of the relationships you have developed with children with parents, with colleagues and other professionals, and the importance of this in mitigating the impact of unexpected change in children's lives. Transitions for children. In early childhood programs, transition is often visualized as the time, space and experience between routines. I would just note that we have a very broad view of the meaning of routines, and we include in it settings, programs and we can even place people in our definition because children move from person to person. The Department of Education and Training in relation to transition to school defines transition as the process of supporting continuity of learning for a child moving from early childhood to school and within this context the children will have to manage many um, thoughts, feelings and behaviours um, associated with that transition. We'll discuss this in, in more detail as we move through. So making these transitions as smooth as possible for children helps them to manage change and the feelings associated with change more effectively. Children, with and without additional needs, are required to manage a multitude of transitions. These can include from home to kindergarten, from person to person, from adult to child, from child to child, from free play to snack, from indoor play to outdoor play, from service to service, from program to program, from structure to structure, and obviously from home, as I already said, to kindergarten and from kindergarten through to school. We believe it is criti critical to consider the child with their thoughts, emotions, and needs at the centre of these and other transitions. So at all times, as we said, when you are thinking about transition, think about what impact it has on the child and what potential for anxiety it may raise. The smoother that we can make the transition for a child, any child, one with additional needs or one without additional needs, is critical in helping them to manage and adapt to the change process. A couple of final points from me. I gave a definition from the department earlier about um, continuity of learning and what it meant in terms of transition. So just want you to think about continuity of learning. The transition from kindergarten to school is a dynamic process of continuity and change as children move into the first year of school. 
The process of transition occurs over time, beginning well before children start school and extending to the point where children and families feel a sense of belonging at school and when educators recognise this sense of belonging. And that's certainly um, very clear in the information from Sue Dockett and Bob Perry um, in their book, Continuity of Learning, which I recommend to, to you all. So they move from predictable at kindergarten to become predictable at school, from what is known at kindergarten to what is known at school, from the teachers that they've developed a relationship with at kindergarten to developing a relationship with teachers at school. Families being able to move from the kindergarten to the school and develop relationships with those, those important uh, contacts within that process. And obviously for children and families to, to, who already feel that they belong to the kindergarten to develop that sense of belonging to the school. Final points. Um, I often talk to kindergarten teachers about transition statements. And um, there is often a question about um, how well they are used by schools and prep teachers. So I just like to reinforce to you that the research shows that prep teachers and principals read and act on the information contained in transition statements. These are a critical tool in supporting a smooth transition of children from kindergarten to school. Over the past 15 plus years or so, the Department of Education and Training for research conducted by external organisations, consultancies and universities has developed and produced a range of resources on transition to school. In fact, they have produced a range of resources more on transition to school than on the notion of school readiness. Links to these resources will be forwarded to services together with answers to any questions submitted by the live Q&A event following the session today. Thank you for your time, just listening to me briefly. Uh, there'll be a very brief delay now as we transition to Tani and her section, very detailed and practical session of the presentation which will follow. Thanks again.